Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had a fantastic week. Been a bit busy on this end, but we're good, we're good. <laughs> um, today is trying something new again. Um, I am going to try and make some chocolate eclairs. I don't have a lot of experience with pastry. Um, I A few years ago I applied to take part in the Great British Bake Off. Didn't get through, obviously. <laughs> um, but the requirements like the the fill-in sheet was huge and it was very like daunting and there was this like this the things that they wanted to know if i knew how to make started off well strong like yeah 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 and then it got into a pastry section and i was like no <laughs> i do not know how to make pastry <laughs> so i uh, i've always wanted to give it a go and then a couple of weeks ago i saw the try guys zach who i love um he attempted to make chocolate eclairs not knowing that was what he was making but he gave it a good go and I thought, do you know what? He made it look not appetising because they did look like poo. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. <laughs> not that you'll ever see this. But I did think, oh, do you know what? I really want to give this a go. So let's have some fun and see what I can do. <laughs> so we are starting off with the filling first because it needs to go into the fridge. Um, so I have just added in the sugar, uh, the egg yolk and some vanilla. I'm going to give it a mix and it's looking very yellow. <laughs> and then I'm just adding in the flour and the corn flour. So I'm just doing one te teaspoon of each, um, which I have to do four times. And that's just what I'm showing you here. And it's really funny to watch it go from like that dark yellow all the way down to the like lighter custardy yellow that we know and love. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. It's a little bit, you know, time consuming, but to be honest, with how delicious this turned out to be, uh, I would do this again and again and again. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's not really complex. It's just a bit time consuming. While I was mixing that, I was heating up some milk. Um, and then when it got to the point where it was, I was happy with it, uh, which is to almost a boiling point, I then slowly add it to the custard mixture that I was making and then uh, mix it together, then put it back into the saucepan and basically heat until it gets to that custard consistency that we know and love, which is about here. <laughs> then I'm popping it back into the bowl and then I'm covering it in cling film and making sure that the cling film's actually touching the surface of the custard so that we don't get that yucky custard top thing that happens. <laughs> uh, but so it should look like that. Perfect. Now we're going to move on to the pastry, which again, like I said, I was a little bit nervous. Uh, so I'm just putting together the mixture. Um, and then I stopped filming because and had a drink because this is how my first try when <laughs> they look like the things that you put in the shoe the shoe linings that's what it looks like it looks like shoe lining now at my partner said that these tasted amazing but I was absolutely so I was so heartbroken and I realized that I'd used the wrong recipe so I found a different one uh, and that'll be the one that'll be in the description so <laughs> uh, you know this is like learning as we go I probably couldn't recreate what I did there even if I tried so you know hey ho um, so we're going to pop some water the butter and uh, some sugar into the saucepan and basically cook it until it is a rolling boil then we're going to add the flour and basically mix this until uh, it kind of congeals almost is probably the best way to consider it. it's like a dough it kind of forms into it almost just like mashed potato to me um, <laughs> and then I'm going to keep it on the hob and just cook it for a few more seconds take it off and then I'm going to pop it into my mixer my stand mixer and uh, very awkwardly, so that I don't hit the camera, pop it into there, uh, make sure I don't miss any bits. And then I'm going to mix it. And then as I'm mixing it, I'm going to add an egg um, and let it cool down while it's mixing. So it should, I think I end up adding three eggs into the mixture and just keep mixing it until it's kind of um, like a... I don't know really how to explain it, but it was just like a doughy consistency, but not too much where it was forming into a ball then to make my life easy i'm using this star tip and popping it into a piping bag and then piping it onto some baking paper so i had no idea what to do so i've done these kind of like they look like slugs don't they um so i think i did like four per sheet um just because i wanted to make sure that there was space in between i had 
no hope that this was going to work because <laughs> I was worried it was going to start like uh, end up like the other ones. But hey ho. So while <laughs> while those are cooking, I am mixing the whipped well the double cream into uh whipped cream and then i'm going to be adding this to our custard mixture so this is out of the fridge now so it's nice and cold so let's combine the two and then with a spatula i'm going to uh mix these together and i honestly i can't say enough how delicious this was i am definitely making this on a regular basis it is absolutely to die for um and then of course no chocolate eclair is a chocolate eclair without the chocolate <laughs> so i'm taking this chocolate and i am cutting it up into fine pieces um and then i'm going to heat up some cream and then pop it on top um and what i like to do is leave this on the chocolate for a little while um and then i will start mixing it and hopefully it should all just melt into a bowl full of gorgeous chocolateness <laughs> And that's your ganache that's going to go on top. Gorgeous. So, <laughs> what a difference, hey? <laughs> so, these came out. I was so shocked. Look at the size of <laughs> They're so big. I just, honest to God, they're so big. Oh, I, was, I honestly couldn't stop laughing when I saw them. Um, so, I'm going to cut them. Don't cut like I'm cutting. How... <laughs> I'm really showing bad habits here. Um, I'm just carefully cutting them very carefully against my palm. Um, and then opening them up. And they just look yum. Don't they look great? And then I'm going to just fill these in with our delicious custardy creamy mix. And my hand is so focused right now. Oh, dear. See what I mean about changing the aspect of filming? <laughs> but doesn't that not look great? It's like a little boat. A boat of gorgeousness. Um, and then we're going to pop the lid on. <laughs> And then we just need to fill in the rest. So with the magic of editing, here is me quickly filling in all the other ones that come up. Honest to God, they're just the randomest shapes. Um, and then we're going to cover them in the chocolate ganache that we just made. Such a messy job. Um, I think the I needed to really leave this a little bit longer, the ganache, to just cool down a little bit and thicken a little bit more up because the, the ganache here is just a tad too runny. But hey, it's chocolate. It's supposed to, and it's supposed to be fun. And I had so much fun making these. And then of course, what is any cooking video? But uh, finishing with, of course, the artistic slow mo shot of them. <laughs> but I'm pretty proud with how they've come out. <laughs> okay, so not as easy as I was expecting at first. But then reading the, uh, going through and trying a different recipe ended up being a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> so sometimes you have to fail to then learn your mistakes and then, you know, grow. So it was good. It was all right. But hey, this is what this channel is about. Trying new things and experimenting and just seeing what I can come up with. But I have to say, these are like the best eclairs I've ever tried. And they're massive. Can you see how big they are? Um, I'm probably just making them a bit too big and I just need to do like smaller dollops but do you know what I like making these um, my family are obsessed um, I literally only got a couple left this is it um, and again this is the second batch I've made so yeah I'm not gonna eat it on um, <laughs> on screen because I feel like I get in trouble with that <laughs> but take it from me these are delicious and the cream with that custard like infusion oh, definitely a new favorite and something i will be definitely doing again and again and again and maybe like making it into like a cake filling i think that would be really nice and cake would be really refreshing um but yes definite win in my books um please try and give it a go the description for the uh ingredients will be below i'm also going to link the try guys uh, episode where zach made his chocolate eclairs i think like it's just a really fun episode <laughs> so go and check it out if you haven't you probably already have but go and check it out if you haven't um next week i am testing out this mold that i have recently bought a little bit scary but definitely very halloweeny um most times when i see people make skull uh cakes or head cakes they kind of try it out by layering the cake and then carving it so it'll be very interesting to see how this comes out I almost forgot to say, <laughs> which is the first time in a couple of weeks, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, 
it really really makes all the difference and if you find you're coming back to my channel why not subscribe it's free and i'm at 66 followers so thank you so so much to the 66 of you you guys are amazing uh we're nearly to the hundred so <laughs> which is you know crazy but yeah if you want to keep coming back and you want to subscribe i would really appreciate it if you have any ideas or anything you'd want me to give a go please let me know honestly your input means the world to me um i just you know i'm just kind of going off what i want to do at the moment <laughs> so if there's anything you guys want me to do then please let me know and i hope you have a fantastic week and i will see you soon bye